All right, welcome to another video. Today I am in Folsom, California, visiting the Johnny Cash Trail. We're gonna get straight into it today. We're gonna learn a little bit about Johnny Cash, one of my personal favorite musicians. I'm so excited to explore this trail for the first time. It's a local popular spot. So let's jump right into it. We're exploring the Johnny Cash Trail. All right, so I actually started down uh, on the trail, the true start of the trail at Lidasor Street, uh, but the best place to park is outside of the uh, Folsom City Library. They have a large parking lot if you just travel a little bit uh, south from the library. In just a minute, we're gonna be crossing over the first bridge on the Johnny Cash Trail. And then after that, we'll talk more about uh, Johnny Cash himself. This is a pretty short ride, so I'm gonna try to pack in a lot of information, uh, as much as I know uh, that I could share with you. Uh, but let's cross this bridge here, which is crossing over an offshoot of the American River. Crossing over Robinson Ravine Bridge, an ode to the old Wild West. Whew, passing through a real beautiful little spot. And... <laughs> I am in the wrong gear to be climbing a hill, but we are doing it. We are out here. In the distance behind me is the Folsom City uh, Sanctuary Zoo, uh, which is a pretty cool spot. Looks like I've already crossed by two different future artwork spots. So the Johnny Cash Trail was developed and completed a number of years ago, I think seven years ago at this stage. Uh, but the artwork is still uh, looking for funding to be commissioned and brought to these spots. Looks like we just passed over the spot for Rusty Cage. Um, I'm not sure what that art insta installation looks like. I could probably do some research and throw a picture up on this video in a minute. If you feel inclined to help the artist uh, complete their work here on the Johnny Cash Trail, if you're a fan of Johnny Cash and you want to see all the different artworks come to life on this really unique cycling path, I'll leave a link in the video here and in the description below. So check that out for sure. All right, I am flying now. Maybe you can see in the distance, we are traveling to the spot that actually made Folsom central to the lore of Johnny Cash. Uh, we're headed to the Folsom State Prison right now. The bike path actually connects right to the visitor's gate. I might have limited camera use in this area, so this might be the last thing I say, but let me see what shots I can get you and we'll talk more on the other end. I'm outside of the Folsom Prison Museum right now, which is also an ode to the Johnny Cash history in the area. It's not open right now, but this is a really cool spot if you uh, come Saturday or Sunday, hours of 10 to 4 p.m. Learn a little bit about Folsom and Johnny Cash history. All right, I can't go any further than this, but this is the iconic spot that Johnny Cash was also here over 70 years ago at this stage. Let's see if I did it better or not. Anyways, really cool. You can't go beyond this point. This is the only area you can take photos and video. It's definitely a free attraction that's really cool to check out. So let's continue on back on the bike path and finish the Johnny Cash Road. All right, that's it. I'm back on the uh, Johnny Cash Trail. Leads right up to that really iconic spot uh, here at the prison. Uh, I had very limited room to be able to film, so I'm glad I got some shots. I'm riding through, I guess you would describe it as kind of a meadow. The forested area, it's about a half mile gap in between the prison and proper Folsom. 
and I just can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but that is a active prison and has been uh, since Johnny Cash was here. So it's kind of crazy to think that just outside of this massive city prison, <laughs> one of the biggest in the area, uh, there's a thriving huge city uh, around here. So if you're not a Johnny Cash fan, um, I guess all you need to know is that Johnny Cash recorded a song called Folsom Prison Blues. And at a time when he needed to kind of revitalize his career in the late 60s, 1968, I believe, he was invited to Folsom uh, to perform here at the prison for the inmates at the time, which was definitely uh, something that was unheard of for musicians at the time. But Johnny Cash being who he was, kind of the man in black, was kind of the perfect person to do something like this crossing under Prison Road uh, and back on the main Johnny Cash Trail. So uh, yeah, that was something really, really iconic that uh, made Folsom uh, basically become part of Johnny Cash's legacy. So you got to check out the live album, Live from the Big House, Johnny Cash, Folsom Prison Blues. So Johnny Cash served as a member of the United States Air Force at the time, and that's where he watched the prison movie about uh, Folsom, uh, the Folsom Prison, and which ended up having him uh, create Folsom Prison Blues. Folsom Prison Blues ended up staying in the Billboard Top 200 for a total of 122 weeks. Uh, so the live album was a major hit. The original recording kind of got overlooked. So that's really interesting. That's um. Part of the reason why his career was revitalized in the late 1960s. And the original recording came out in 1955. All right, hitting another hill here. Ooh. Riding alongside East Natoma Street uh, here in Folsom. Uh, we just passed by another to-be-funded artwork spot uh, for the song Ring of Fire, which is another popular song of his. Uh, I encourage anybody that hasn't heard it, check it out. I'll even post a link in the description of this video below of some of my favorite songs of his and some of the songs that have been brought up in today's video. Uh, but moving on from there, we're going to continue on. Like I said, still just on the north side of the perimeter of Folsom uh, State Prison. Actually fast approaching the end of the trail. Unfortunately, I know I ha we haven't seen any uh, direct art, uh, but right now the biggest thing to check out is definitely the Folsom State Prison and the artwork within the prison uh, museum. On a weekend, you come out here. I've been there once before. There's a really, really cool uh, section in the back room that's all devoted to Johnny Cash. You can buy Johnny Cash uh merch and memorabilia there so we're actually approaching one of the original art installations uh the johnny cash trail wall so we're going to check that out right here and then we're going to cross over really the finale of today all right i'm off my bike for a second because this is a pretty cool spot this is one of the first and only art installations on the trail so far. I was a little bummed and I thought I might find a little more. Um, again, I'll keep I'll keep promoting it. Donate, donate, donate. But right here, we're checking out the donor wall. FolsomCashArtTrail.com. And this is cool right here. You could probably pull this up online, but here is Legacy Park, which is what's right in front of me. It's just a bunch of grass and, and weeds, but that'll eventually be this really significant park with looks like a, a guitar right down the middle. And of course that's already here. Legacy Park is gonna be a really, really cool place to, to come to. If I'm available to do so, once it's all built in a matter of years, I don't know what the timeline would be. I will certainly come back and revisit this trail. I'm 
show you guys exactly how everything develops. I'm hopeful to see that hopefully in the near future uh, instead of in the distant future. <laughs> the Johnny Cash Trail Bridge. You might be able to tell the uh, two pillars on each side of the bridge are meant to mimic uh, the pillars of the big house, you know, the prison just across the street. Okay, we're just gonna continue riding a few hundred feet further. We're at the tail end of the trail. We're going to finish right outside with a, overlooking the uh, Folsom City uh, Dam. Here we are, we're at Folsom Dam. All right, that's it. I'm going to leave you here today with that. I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. A quick glimpse into the Johnny Cash Trail. It has a lot of work to be done, but it was a lot of fun exploring some of those really cool spots, such as the Folsom State Prison, and some of the artwork that was along the way, and it was cool to see what's gonna come in the future. I definitely am gonna revisit this. Signing out here outside of Folsom Dam. Uh, one day we will explore this area too, because there's some really cool trails that lead around the water. Uh, but for now, I hope you learned a little bit about Johnny Cash's legacy and history here in uh, the city of Folsom, California. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. And as always, ride on and ride safe.